had the support of semantics or linguistic structure, so to speak. Even the language conspired to give the Negro the impression that something was wrong with his color. Open a row the stars, and you will see 120 synonyms for black. All of them represent some low, degrading, smut, dirt. And then look at the 130 synonyms for white. They all high, noble, chaste, pure. So in our society, when somebody goes wrong in the family, you don't call them a, a, a white sheep, you call them a black sheep. If you tell a lie, it's better to tell a white lie than a black lie, because a white lie is worth better. <laughs> you know someone, somebody, and you use that as a means of bribing them for getting money, and uh, you will expose them if you don't get it, you don't call it white male, you call it black male. I think it's a bit humorous, but it is a fact of life. So many things conspire to make the Negro feel that he was nobody because of his color. But the other thing that refutes this myth is the notion that anybody, any ethnic group, lifted itself totally by its own bootstraps. The Negro was freed from the bondage of physical slavery in 1863 through the Emancipation Proclamation. The Negro wasn't given any land make that freedom meaningful. It was something like keeping someone in prison for many years and then suddenly discovering that they are not guilty for the crime that they were convicted. And then you go to them and say, now you are free, but you don't give them any bus fare to get the town or any money to buy clothes to put on their backside and money to get on that seated life again. Every code of jurisprudence would rise Yes, this is exactly what America did to the black man. In 1863, it just said you were free. And he was left there penniless, illiterate, with nothing. But here is the story that's not often told. At the same time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, she was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest. This meant that America was willing to undergird her white right peasants from Europe with an economic floor. Not only did the nation give the land, it built land grant colleges to teach these people how to farm, provided county agents, further their expertise in farming, it provided low interest rates so that they could mechanize that farm. And today, many of these people are being paid through federal subsidies not to farm. And these are the very people who, in many instances, are saying to the Negro that he should lift himself by his own bootstraps. Thank you.